Hi everyone, Mr. Brandt here. It's uh, Friday, um, second week of our, ending up our second week of our drawing of the days. I've absolutely loved seeing all your drawings that some of you have sent me on my email at mbrandt at lidmar.k12.ia.us. Keep them coming. I love seeing them. I'm compiling them and going to put them on my website. Also, if you don't have my website address, um, you can email me at that same email and I'll send it to you. Um, if you're a Westfield student, you can go on the library webpage and that, that uh, website is there too. It just has the videos and some downloads and some other things. Um, I just wanted to let everyone know I will continue doing drawing of the day even though the district is going to send out choice boards and there is an art activity that uh, I was part of uh, coming up with. I'd love you to do the art activity that's sent to you next week on the board, but I will also continue doing the drawings of the day. Um, so you can always tune into this channel and, and see the drawing of the day. Uh, I will do them Monday through Friday. Today, I think I'm going to do a bonus, so you'll see two videos. Um, our first one we're going to start, we're going to do a cute little dragon today. And so we are going to start, you want to have your paper horizontal. And if I have the middle of the paper right here, I'm going to go over just a little ways to the left. And then I'm going to start right about in the middle and I'm going to draw a curved line that comes around like that. Okay, so it's kind of like a half circle, but kind of tilted. Once I've done that, I'm going to start right here. I'm going to go up the hill a little bit, then down the hill a little bit, and then up the hill again. Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to put a little cheek line. That's going to be the mouth of our cute little dragon. And then underneath here, I'm going to draw a little curved line that comes around like that and stop. After I've done that, I'm going to go back up to that first curved line and I'm going to draw one little kind of upside down U for a nostril and then another one on the outside over here. And then I'm just going to draw a little circle in there for the inside of the nostril. Now, this next line is kind of a long line, and it, whatever you draw is going to make your dragon different than everyone else's, which I love. I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to draw up and around for the head, and everybody's head can be different. Okay, so if you want to stop a second, or you can continue going what I'm going to show you. So I've just drawn up, curved around. Now I'm going to start back, and I'm going to do kind of a U shape, and then at the end, I'm just gonna kind of curve it like that. So I started here, I came up and around for the head, and then a U shape for his back, and then a tail coming there. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go back to his little chin here, and I'm gonna start, I, I'm gonna actually draw kind of the same line, just lower, but I'm gonna stop a couple places. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to come down, and when I get to right about here, I'm going to stop. Because then I'm going to draw just a simple little cute V for one of his little arms. And now I'm going to continue drawing the U shape. So I'm going to draw it down and around like this, and I'm going to stop again. But this time, not a V shape. I'm going to start up above. I'm going to draw like I'm drawing a half circle, and then his little foot coming up like that, okay? And then I'm going to jump over that leg, and I'm going to continue, and I'm going to get skinnier, not all the way to the point, but skinnier as I go. And now we've just drawn his back. Now at the end here, I'm going to go ahead and just draw a cute little sideways triangle for the his tail, and then I want to draw his tummy. So I'm going to come back over to his chin. 
start here and I'm going to just draw all the way kind of going exactly along with it but when I hit this I'm going to jump over now this is important as I get up here I'm going to get closer and closer and closer until I touch and then I'm going to go and draw his little lines on his tummy like you see on those dragons and again this is a cute dragon you can make him different if you want you could have his off mouth open you could do a second dragon and add some different details i'm going to go back over here kind of by his first leg and i'm going to draw another little arm or leg and then his other leg is behind him so we're just going to see the little tip of his foot okay now we're going to go back up and we're going to draw some eyes now you could just draw two curved lines and have his eyes closed you could draw some big eyes, you could draw some mean eyes, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm going to make mine kind of cute, so I'm going to draw a nice oval with a little highlight. Remember how I showed you if you want to be able to draw and color in the color of his eyes? If you draw a nice oval, you put the highlight and then you do a little pupil inside, then you can color. But I'm just going to keep it a cute black pupil. Okay? Might draw a little couple here. Now, I'm going to add just a couple little ears up here just to make him cute. Um, since it looks like he's up in the air and he's flying, I'm going to start on his back and I'm going to draw a line up like that. And then I'm going to draw an angle line coming there. And then watch this. I'm going to go from here. I'm just going to go up. To a point and then another and another and you can draw your wing however you want you can make it really really big and detailed or you can make it small and cute like this now I'm going to draw his other wing from the other side I'm going to draw a line up I'm going to angle it up this way and then starting here I'm going to draw now it might touch and go behind and then I have here and jump behind and come here and there's my cute little wings now sometimes you know dragon has little fire so I'm gonna make some cute just it all it is is a curved line and then I start back here and I go thick back to thin just some little fire shapes maybe He's got some smoke coming from the fire. You could add those kind of details if you want coming from his nostrils, however you want to do that. Now, as I'm looking at mine, sometimes you could go and draw some spots on him. Um, you could go and draw, if you want, some little bumps on his back. Maybe I'll make this so I can tell which is his ears. These are just some extras I'm adding. That's what's so cool about this. You can go in and you can make this so detailed if you want. You could add just every once in a while. We've talked a lot about texture. If I go in and just draw a couple little scales every once in a while, it gives that illusion that there's he's got little scales on him, all of that kind of stuff. You could draw down here. You could use, let your imagination go and... You could draw a little castle down here. You could draw a ground, or you could draw clouds and a sun. He's in the sky. It's totally up to you how you want to do your dragon. This is your dragon. Um, I want you to make it yours, and I hope you have an awesome day doing it. I hope you have a great Friday. Um, but remember, keep drawing, and remember, art is essential.